Hello and welcome. This is going to be a quick tutorial uh, for the intro seeds uh, for extended AE. I haven't seen one um, out there, so I figured I'd do a quick one. Um, so what I found was that the crystals have to be redone. I don't know if this is the most efficient setup in the world uh, or if it's not, uh, but this is how I figured out how to get it to work with modular routers. Um, so what you're going to need is a whole bunch of routers. Um, I used two sets of crystals with the routers and the growth accelerators. Um, and what each one does is basically just break the crystal, uh, when it's fully grown. So if we go into the options here, we see that it's looking for the intro crystal, not for the intro cluster. The cluster is what it's looking for, but it's got set for the match by dropped items. Um, and each one is set to the direction that it should be. Uh, so there's basically a breaker module and then a sender module. Um, and it goes into that chest there. And that's what the outside ones do. Okay. One spot's gone because you got the growth accelerator. The middle one, though, is the one that actually places and then adds the seed and breaks as well. So the first thing it does is it looks to ch it checks to see if it's a Certus Quartz block which is what this one breaks down to when it's done budding. Uh, if it is a service quartz block, it'll break it, um, and then it'll send it back to the chest, the, 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 the diamond barrel. Um, and then it uses the puller module with a regularity augment on it. And what that does is it pulls uh, one, sorry, two of the Fluix blocks out, right? And I don't know why it's still trying to pull them, but that's just something I have to work on at some point. Uh, but once that's done, it pulls in the, uh, uh, where is it? Right here, it pulls in the, the intro seed. Um, once the intro seed is there, it uses an activator module to do a left click or a right click onto the actual uh, flux box and it changes it into the budding, mostly entrophized flux. Uh, and then it goes on and it keeps breaking it. And if we give it a moment here, you'll actually see it break it. And then it'll place a Fluix block and then place a seed. Is that one ready? No, they're about the same. So yeah, I came up with this sort of system here. Um, I was using something like this for the uh, Certus Quartz crystals. And I thought maybe this could work for doing this one because you have to do the right click. I would used uh, the activator module. Uh, that one's hardly, this is hardly, so they're both going to break soon. I thought it was a neat little setup in a tiny little building. There, it placed it, it activated it, and now it's starting with mostly entralized. It's good. Um, if you need, um, like a list of how many routers you need, how many modules you need, let me know. I will put that, uh, uh in the comments if someone asks for it. Uh, the other thing I forgot was that I have two modular routers here, one on either side. I'm sure that I could do this a better way, but since I basically have almost unlimited resources, uh, I just use two of them here. Each one of them has a sender module in them with a regulator that it only sends two items into this block here. So it doesn't just fill it up. Uh, otherwise, you'll just get a full box of everything. Uh, it does that both for the Flux blocks and for the intro seat. Uh, and it only keeps two in there at a time. Otherwise, this other module here gets confused and doesn't stop pulling in Flux blocks. Um, and that just gets it right directly from my AE system. So there's just an export bus that just uh, exports that. And I've got the ME requester that creates these blocks uh, in batches of 25 or and keeps a stock of 50. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, and it was actually useful for you. Um, at least this will help with getting these crystals for what you need at the, the earlier point of the game. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya.